Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic Underwater Base, and yes folks, you see by the title, this is the final. Now, this is the final for now, it might change sometimes in the future, but we have reached the limits of the underwater base. Uh, Scrap Mechanic is starting to flip out a bit, and it's doing some really strange things to the map that's making it really, really hard to build. So, right now, this is going to be the final. We will be moving on to new and exciting builds, so I hope you guys give me plenty of suggestions for new world types, vehicles, whatever you want to see built here in Scrap Mechanic. Just comment below. And remember, folks, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, leave this video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel, and let's jump right into this. Alright, so there is quite a bit to show you guys here today. Even though the map has been crashing, uh, we've got several things done. Now, I will go through uh, what my plans are in the future with this, if we can get it running again. And I'll show you a couple things that, or I'll talk about a couple things that I had to cut out. But we've got two new things here. We've got a new lab, and this lab is actually connected to the cave. Uh, so the cave, we talked about it last episode, was kind of like a secret cave. It had some mysteries in it, the plants that we have been talking about uh, that may or may not be um, eliminating some of the base people. Uh, that, those are in there, and towards the intro of that video, I had like a little teaser for a monster. Well, that monster now is in the cave, and that's a part of the reason why we have the new research facility. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into the research facility first, and then we'll run into the cave and we'll check out the uh, monster's layer in there. So, anyways, you can see the research facility here. Actually came out quite nice. It was initially bigger, but I had one of my maps crash on me, so I lost a bit of progress. So I had to kind of rebuild uh, what I could. So I did downsize it just a bit, but it's still pretty awesome. You can see how the uh, cave now and this rock formation kind of swoop around and it kind of goes a bit around the base or the uh, lab itself. So uh, if we do get to build some more in the future, I would like to actually expand upon these rocks and maybe shift it over to the right and shift it over more behind the little lab here. So we're going to go ahead and walk into the lab here. This is an airlock, so we're going to go ahead and hit this here. Walk into here, and we're going to close this. I'm surprised this airlock is actually still working. This was one of the things that started to flip out in the world. Uh, one time I loaded back into the world, and the airlocks were sticking out of the wall. And it made it to where I had to delete them and rebuild them. Now I had another one here, but I wasn't able to salvage this one. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and hit this switch over here. It's going to drain the room. And then it's going to open these doors. Uh, like I said, that was originally another airlock, but it was still freaking out. So I decided just to put some normal doors on there. So let's go ahead and close that. Turn on the lights here. And we got one more set of doors and we're going to get into the lab here. So let's go ahead, open this up. And here we are. We are in a little lab. This lab has a lot to do with what lives inside of the cave over there. And as you can see, we have Grumples. Now, the reason, let me go ahead and redo this glass real quick, that's going to bug me. I had to cut this glass open, this was another thing that was freaking out, and Grumples was actually, the creature that was in here was actually on the other side of the cage, it was actually out here, and it was freaking out a bit, but that's something I had to change, I had to cut a hole in the glass to make him shoot back into the uh, his little cage. So this is Grumples, uh, Grumples is a baby creature. Uh, Mama Creature's in there, and she's not too happy about Grumples being in the cage. But actually, you know what? Grumples came out pretty good. He looks pretty cute. Now, I had uh, several people from my Discord actually make things for the base, and this is one of them. Uh, let me go ahead and pull it up here, and we'll go ahead and give some credit here. Uh, this was by Zombie1919NL. Uh, he created a whole little set here uh, that has the cage. It's got a couple of these little egg. Uh, we'll call these containers over here. And it has the big monster itself, so I definitely want to thank him for sending that over. It's really awesome. So, uh, we have Mr. Grumples in here. Uh, we can actually go in and check out his cage. Let's go ahead and turn that on here. Turn that. And we're going to prepare to enter. Now, it would be really cool to have like an AI version of this. Oh, those lights were already on. Uh, yeah, it would be really awesome to have like an AI version of Mr. Grumples, but... Uh, he's just kind of a statue right now, and I don't know if we can actually do an AI version of him because of the fact that the map's basically done now. But yeah, you can see he's got a little container in here. He's just kind of sitting there. He actually looks really happy. And it's, <laughs> I don't know, he doesn't look intimidating like his mom. Uh, his mom looks a bit meaner. He looks, maybe he's a little bit happier. He's not quite as uh, 
or maybe he's raised to be a little bit more tame. Uh, you can see where he's hatched from here. You've got the little egg here. Uh, we might have taken a couple more eggs from inside of the cave. Uh, we'll have to check those out. So we're going to walk out this way. Alright, so we have like a little workstation right here. This is to monitor Mr. Grumples. I've got cameras actually set up. Uh, you can see some here on the inside of the lab. And you can see one right here that's actually watching him or her. I haven't decided if that's a him or her. It's, it's named Grumples. I, I don't know if maybe that's a... That could be. That could go either way. It's a monster. So, <laughs> anyways, we've got some more eggs over here, and we can actually open these up. Let's turn these on. It's like we're maybe incubating uh, some more eggs, so we'll have more little grumples here. We could be kind of making a grumples army. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, that could be something that's going on here. That might explain some of the research stuff that goes on in the main part of the base. Uh, if you watched any of those episodes, so yeah. Overall, really happy with the way this came out. It's like the rest of the base. It's really open. Uh, I really just love the aesthetic. And I really felt like this actually mixes in really well with the rest of the base. So, you're probably wondering what these doors are. Now, this is another thing that I lost. And uh, this is where the mech from the intro actually should be. So, we're going to pop these open here. Uh, this is like the little draining room or airlock for the mech, so you would come into here, get into the mech, close those doors, drain the room, and then we can pop this here, and you're ready to go back outside with the mech itself. Uh, it is kind of a shame that I can't spawn the mech right now because the mech flies off when I spawn it. Here, let's go ahead and try it real quick, and I'll show you guys what I mean. Uh, he might not fly off this time, but he starts to separate himself. Uh, this is a part of the reason I know that the world is pretty well done here. So let's see what it does. Yep, you see that? You see the pieces just flying in the air? This is why I know this world, something is gone horribly wrong with this. So we will check this out. I'm going to actually spawn it in a flat world. And we'll play with it a bit there. But let's go ahead and get that out before it explodes the game. And we'll go ahead and shut this real quick. There we go. But yeah, overall, happy with the lab. Wish I could have done a little bit more with it. But it is what it is, folks. I'm not too angry because I know we'll go on to some more fantastic builds here in Scrap Mechanics. So this is just kind of a little bit of closure for the cave and maybe what this whole facility is all about. Alright, so here is the cave. We're back at this from the last episode. I have added some new sections in here. And you're probably noticing that, you know what? It looks like we're trying to keep people out. Or maybe we're trying to keep something in. Uh, these are mines made by GG Knight Gamer. He's a Discord member. And these actually look really appropriate for the area. So I have mounted some of these over here on these little metal blocks. Looks really cool. It looks like they're actually floating in the water. Uh, to keep maybe subs from coming in and trying to get into the cave. Because there is still some very valuable resources in the cave. But there's also some things in there that might hurt us. Now, I did want to do like a little defense area right on the entrance, and I did have one going, but obviously, since the world died on me, I just, I can't build it right now. But it was like a little laser area that I made using the Durf mod. He's got these lasers, and it looks like if something were to walk outside of it, I had a couple guns on the outside that would try to target it uh, if something were to walk out or cross the laser beams. But, uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to settle for the mines, so if Mama Grumples comes out, she might not be too happy with us but anyways we're about to check out what's inside of the cave I want to go ahead and walk over to this side I did do a little bit more with the cave outside uh, you can see I've added some more rocks over here so I made it look a bit more complete uh, there's still some areas in the background that I would like to cover up uh, with some more rocks so hopefully maybe sometime in the future we might get around to actually being able to do that over here you're probably noticing that Grumples has been in a bit of a battle uh, we have one of our old hover tanks over here it looks completely trashed. Uh, you can see there's holes in the side of it here. Uh, you can see the guns have been ripped off. It looks like something has actually clawed into this thing and ripped into the inside. So I thought this was a nice little touch to have over here on the side of it. So it actually is welded down. And you've got all the little rocks and the plants kind of overgrowing on it. So it, it looks actually really cool over here. So you've got that. Uh, we're going to walk over to this side. Like I said, uh, we did connect uh, the back side of this over to the lab. I would like to, if we eventually get to do it, uh, maybe cover this whole backside of the map, basically, to make it look like one huge, almost mountain or cave. So, we're going to go ahead and walk back into the cave here and check out what we've added. 
Uh, nothing much has changed into the, uh, or at the main part of the cave. It's really back a ways before we see some of the changes. Uh, I did kind of clear up some of the paths over here to make it look a bit more appropriate. Uh, kind of clean this whole area up because there was a couple of rocks that were sticking out. It just didn't look too natural, so we've got that. Uh, there's the one room with all of the deadly plants in it. Nothing's changed over here. And oh, there are the eyes. Uh, that could be Mama Grumples watching out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep walking back here. Alright, so here is the tomb from the last episode. Nothing much has changed from this. I did have a door on here uh, that closed behind you. I had a little sensor dug into the wall over here. Uh, but that, of course, no longer works because it freaked out. But anyways, on the inside, you guys were great in giving me suggestions for stuff that you would want to see here. And the thing that I felt was most appropriate was putting a monster egg up here. So maybe the ancient civilization that used to live underwater possibly worshipped the monsters. So yeah, you've got a monster egg up here. Now, if you're wondering how to find Mama Grumples... She is hidden in this cave. So when you stare at the walls of this cave, it's always kind of hard to see where there's extra paths because all the rocks blend in together really nice. And if you look close over here to the left side, behind some of these rocks that cover or that are on the left side of the tomb, there's actually an opening over here. So we can kind of crawl in uh, fairly tight. And there she is. There is M Mama Grumples, we'll call her that. And she is here to protect her eggs. You can see all the eggs here. She's got a nest built up. She's hiding back here. Uh, poor soul, we won't talk about what happened to this guy. So yeah, this might tie some things up for you guys for the base. A lot of people had theories about the plants, the monster that lived in the cave, and a couple of the bodies here. So yes, there is Mama Grumples. She's back here. It actually looks really cool. I would like to uh, maybe eventually, I wouldn't say animate it, but make it move. Uh, maybe make the arms move. And I thought about putting, uh, at first I was going to put it on like a little track. So when you hit the sensor uh, crossing the corner here, it would actually start to shoot out this way and kind of come at you. A little bit like the uh, farm bot does in the uh, theme park world where the walls come down and the farm bot shoots out from behind the wall. Uh, that was something that I was thinking about doing with this monster here. But nonetheless, it actually looks pretty cool. It reminds me a bit of a, I would say almost like a dragon or a lizard. Some people said it looks like the, uh, I think they call it the monster or beast of Christmas past. I think it's like a Krampus or something. Uh, it does look a bit like that, but, or I think I'm saying that right. Krampus or Krampus. Uh, it's the, uh, the monster that is involved with, uh, the holiday season. But yeah, I guess you can say it also looks a bit like that too. But anyways, uh, it looks really cool back here. You've got a little green glow in the background, so it does add a little bit of atmosphere to it. But uh, pretty happy with the way this little area came out. Alright, so I would have liked to have added more to this cave, and I'm not going to rule out anything, guys. Uh, if an update comes along and fixes some of the issues here, I would like to eventually come back to this. This is probably my favorite map. It used to be the town... But this thing was such a joy to build for you guys, and I had a lot of community involvement uh, that I just thought this was so awesome of a project. And it is something that I would like to come back to eventually. Now, I've got one more thing to show you guys, and it's something that was going to kind of combat uh, the monster in the cave. And it's something that was sent to me through my Discord. Uh, let's go out to a flat world and check it out real quick. All right, it looks like we are about to have a showdown here. We've got Mama Grumples on the right, and we have a mech on the left side. Now, this mech was made by somebody from my Discord. His name is Mr. Wiz. Uh, this is morally supposed to be like a, an apocalypse mech that has seen better days. Might have fought with some farm bots back in the day. But this was something that I was going to be able to use for the underwater base. Uh, he actually gave me permission to repaint the mech and make it look a little bit more, I would say modern, a little bit more, uh, less apocalypse. Uh, but it is definitely a very awesome mech. It reminds me a bit of the mech from Aliens. And yeah, you got to see this thing in action. Now, as far as the spider web, this is insanity. I don't, like, I can't even tell, like, how do you connect all this together? Uh, this thing does walk. It does have like a steering glitch on the bottom. You can see it 
uh, right there where the uh, green bearing is. So it does turn, it does walk. It's not like extremely fast. I think it's supposed to be a little bit more of a worn out old mech, but nonetheless, very awesome. And this was going to be something that we would be able to launch from the lab and that room I showed you guys. And this would be able to go into the cave and search out uh, Mama Grumples. So let's go ahead and click this button here. There it goes. And we can hop into this. Check this out. This looks so cool. So the one key is going to close this around us. Let's actually look in the first person. That's awesome. It's a little, actually, not. that's not too hard to see, really. Uh, this seat does place you a bit higher than uh, I would think it would. I believe this is like a sci-fi seat. You can see that our head's kind of up in the bars here. But it's uh, definitely pretty awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and click the two key here that turns on our lights. And the three key is going to extend our arms out. Now, you can turn yourself. You'll see the uh, little steering glitch there. And it actually turns the arms a bit. So you've got that. Uh, you can click W to lower the arms or S to raise them up. And you can see how we can move them out. That is so cool looking. So we're going to go ahead and hit the uh, three key here. It's going to close them in. And then the four key will actually close the claws. Uh, you can actually see the controls working there. That's also something that looks really neat. So you've got that. Uh, let's go to the six key. It's actually like a punch on uh, the one side and then I believe there's a five key there so you could get into a bit of a fight here and try to grab mama grumples which we're gonna attempt to do that it might not go too well so we've got that we got a couple more lights now I believe this down here it's got like two different walking modes and you see these plates that close in so when you turn that now it actually turns uh, the whole creation so we're gonna go ahead and activate it here and you can see this thing do a bit of walking it's actually really stable. I don't know if there's an actual stabilization in there. I have a feeling that's why the the feet themselves are so big because it's actually catching it on the uh, walking motion here. But you can see how everything works. It's really cool, really mechanical looking. You can see the tires spinning there. Uh, the suspension's actually working for the legs. It compresses in and lets the feet move a bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and turn towards Mama Grumples here and we're gonna go punch her in the face and see what happens. Oh man, I really wish I could do more with this and maybe make that uh, Mama Grumples move around a bit. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and get close here. Oh, uh-oh, Mama Grumples might not like me too close to her. Uh, that's the one bad thing about Scrap Mechanic and all these bearings. Actually, no, we're moving her a bit. <laughs> let's go clock her in the face. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you get kind of what's supposed to be happening here. Uh oh this might get really laggy. P put, your, put your arms back in. Oh, oh, we just tipped. Actually, does this thing get itself back up? Hold on, let's get this over here before it lags too much. You might be able to tip yourself back up with this. Let's go ahead and close that, or open that back up. Jump back in. There we go. And let's close that. So yeah, uh, it's got the uh, two different walking modes. Let's go ahead and close those. Actually, let's keep the, the plates on the bottom open. And so yeah, the plates on the bottom actually are what is making this turn. What I think is happening, I think that a uh, pipe piece is hitting those plates. Uh, because it definitely feels like it's got a, a much wider turning radius. Actually, I just flipped myself on its back. So uh, when you're walking, you might want to have those engaged. Or at least that whole plate system engaged. So we close that again. Close those plates on the bottom. And now we should activate the walking. Actually, oh, there we go. Hold on. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, there we go. Oh, I've actually got its arms down. That's what it is. Okay, so if you have the arms too low, it actually... Uh, Kind of blocks its walking a bit, so let's go ahead and raise those up and put those. Uh, let's go ahead and put those arms out. There's so many controls to this thing, but it is absolutely amazing. I'm always really amazed to see any mechs in scrap mechanics. So definitely uh, props to Mr. Wiz. Uh, thanks for sending that over into my Discord viewer creations channel. I really do wish I could have done more with it, but still wanted to show it off nonetheless. You can always get this from his workshop which all workshops will be linked down in the description. But anyways, folks, I do appreciate all the love and support on the Underwater Base series. It had a very, very good run. I It's kind of unfortunate for it to come to an end like this. I was really planning on about two or three more episodes to wrap up everything that I wanted to do in the base. But unfortunately, it is going to come to an end for now. Uh, do comment below with new suggestions for worlds, new builds that you guys would like to see. It can be small stuff from vehicle builds, or it could be big worlds like the underwater base. 
But like I said, guys, I do thank you for the love and support on the Underwater Base series. And I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.